You gonna take any movements? Cause he already did his opportunity attack for the round, so it's not like he can attack you for moving. Uh, yeah. Let me go ahead and move over here to the corner, back against the wall. Come. Take a sir. That's it for me. Another rat comes running out of that room. Double hit. Crowd. Fucking Legolas. Thirteen versus AC, which is a miss. What's up, Zero Kelvin? And another rat comes out of that room. Holy shit! Damn. I knew that was and that a bad one, idea. And that one hits you for three damage. We got all litter here. Well, they'll need the exterminator instead of questing dungeoners. And then the giant rat that got lit up. It's that one's turn, and he's attacking Keldorn. And he has combat advantage because he's flanking you, so he gets a plus two to his attack. We so are having fun doing a like a murder so mystery, man. Keldorn, you take twelve damage. Whoa. Do you know how to modify your health on your token, Carl, or do you want me to do it for you? Oh, I know. Twelve. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay. Right. Alessandra, your turn. Okay, I want to just... Uh, let me see. I want yeah, to you're just, too late uh, to join, uh, Zero. I want to just a heal on Sheldon, but I couldn't find it. It's healing word is the power. It's a minor action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, I couldn't find it on top of the uh, oh, macro bar. Oh, it's because it's not a roll. Oh, okay, so how, how what am I gonna what am I gonna do? It's a minor action that you can target anybody within five squares of you, and that target can spend a healing surge and they get an additional one d six hit points. And because you are a cleric, they get an additional four. So basically, you'll be able to spend a healing surge plus nine or plus spend a healing surge plus one d six plus four. And he is within five squares of you. So is that what you want to do? Yep. All right, so Keldorn, you can spend a healing surge, and you can roll a one d six, Alexandra. <coughs> okay, so he gets eight plus his healing surge value. Which Keldorn, your healing surge value would be on your character sheet. That's eleven. Okay, so you get back. No, your surge value is seven. And then you get back 7 plus 8, so you get 15 hit points back, or you're back up to full. So you're yourself yeah, back up to the uh, 12, 12 or 13 damage you just took. Okay, Alethandra, that was your minor action. You still have a standard action and a move action. Okay, I want to uh, move between Balsa and Chedron because there's uh, something behind me. Is it okay to move? Yep. It? Okay. You gonna do a standard action or anything? I think you have okay. a ranged attack. I want to, if it's possible, I want to chest. Uh, what was it? Let me, let me find it. Okay, Lance I want to. Lance of Faith and Sacred Flame are both ranged, so. Lance of Faith then. Okay. Which one are you attacking? Uh, the one who hit the... Uh, Ed. So that one? No, no, no on, on the left. On the just ping, you can ping the map yeah, where you want to attack. Just left click over what you want to attack and hold it. Oh, okay. There you go. Just in case you guys didn't know about pinging. And Keldorn, um, on your healing surge bar, which is the blue one, uh, take one off because you spent healing surge for that heal. 28,000 views already. Holy cow, guys. That is a ton. Versus reflex. Ugh. So yeah, if anybody is interested in playing a Pathfinder game, please contact me. It's going to be a every Friday game. And now it is Keldorn's turn. 
starting not next Friday, but the weekend that, but the week after Hold that. Uh, but I will need to uh, interrogate. I mean, interview you. Cleave this sucker right in half. And we will Jack, get characters made from the, the first one core rule book. You. That's it. No advanced two, three, four, five to twenty. Three. It's going to be basic beginner box set rules with core rule classes. Yep. Only book one so stuff. That one takes nothing else. No exceptions. Damage, and then the rat next to it takes four. No racial adjustments. No yeah. class bonus adjustments. Nothing. Book that one. one that got cleaved, you no combat maneuvers. Hammer that, none of that crap. The bony Just rat basic. Into the small one. The small one gets pummeled into a bloody corpse. Nice. Well, that was heavy. And then the blue one is still uh, marked. So, uh, you going to move or are you good right there? I'm going to finish him off. So you're staying right there? Yes, sir. Okay. Paleus, your turn. Do I have an action point? I'm going to use a uh, magic missile on this uh, rat right here. He normally get an opportunity attack against you, but he already used one this round, so he doesn't get it. Seventeen or sixteen versus reflex, which is a hit, and he takes nine damage. The this blue missile of force energy flies out and slams into the rat's face, but he still. Up. He's not bloodied yet either. I'm going to move to the side here. Right there. <sighs> okay. Oh, and Keldorn, that one that you hit, that one is bloodied now. Pasta! Rura! <laughs> What's up, buddy? I want you to meet my my personal favorite. He's named Thumper. And I'm going <laughs> to meet you again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that giant rat is going to attack Balasar. With the bony rat. Uh -huh. A 21 against your AC. Uh -huh. Which I think is a hit exactly. Oh, you have a 20 AC. What are you guys going to do if I cut the beard off? For 13 damage. Seriously. I was thinking about cutting the beard off, guys. Yes, David, I am. Okay, cool. I was just wondering. I didn't see it anywhere in the sheet, so that's why I was curious. So, so how much you, take, so you take 13 damage, so you take the 2 off the temporary hit points and 11 off of your blue square, or the green square. <laughs> green circle. Kadojo and David, I got your uh, your messages, so I, can I will respond to you tonight after the game. So, also, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the uh, was it that one? Yeah. the viewer hosted game. I, I really think that uh, Zaven's doing uh, a, a bang up job. He's doing awesome. The rat north of Keldorn is going to bite at Keldorn. Nine is a miss, and it is Shroud's turn. Alrighty, let's see. Let's go after one of these little bitty guys here. I think you inherited the bad rolls from me, Seven. <laughs> okay, so 19 versus AC for seven damage, and that is a hit, and you stab that one in the face. Whoa. Ooh. I killed you. Are you gonna move or are you good there? Yeah, let's back off a little bit here. If you move more than five space move more than one square, those two next to you will get opportunity attacks against you. Move up here behind this guy. You'll get opportunity attacks if you move up there. It's up to you, I mean I'm just letting you know. If you move there you won't. And you're flanking the bony one if you're there as well. Okay, I'll move there then. I forgot. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Right, Belzar, your turn. Okay, I'm back in this one. So with a uh, bolting strike, yeah. Okay. Twelve versus AC is a miss. Whoops. You also have a um, a minor action, and you can divine challenge him if you want to. Uh, come again. You can uh, basically, because uh, you're a tank class two, you can mark them. If you cast divine challenge on him and he attacks somebody other than you, he'll take like nine damage. Well, seems reasonable. So. Mm. So I can mark him for you. Yeah, could you please? Your mark is going to be a purple one. Alright, are you good? Um, let's see. So, yeah. Well, my dwarf friends, please take my hits. <laughs> it's the rat man's turn. Um, by the way, did I Unless get... You, move, uh, you can move five feet or you can move if you want. Uh, that one, and did I get two more? Um, hit points again, extra. No, because you missed. It only affect. Uh, you only get those two hit. Okay, then. Uh, I am going to move a bit to the left. Okay. okay. The rat man is moving over here behind you to flank you. And he's going to try to stab you with a dagger. And he does have combat advantage, so he gets a plus two to attack, but a 16 to AC is still a miss. Otherwise, you would have taken 12 damage. Ha ha. Adrian, your turn. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep the quarry on this rat guy uh, that I attacked on the previous round, and I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and twin strike him again, so... Uh, let's see, 9 versus AC and 12 versus AC. Which they're both misses. Okay, I'm going to action point and use that again. Okay. Uh, 14 and 23. The 23 definitely hit, so it's 9 plus your quarry damage. Okay, I'll do a 1d8. Whoops. Sorry about that. I okay. So you had 14 damage to him. 14, yep. To the big guy. He is still alive, but he is definitely bloodied. Wow. You let unleash a volley of arrows on him, but amazingly only one of them hits, but it <clears> definitely <throat> hit it where it counted. Alright. He doesn't want any of this. Nope, that's why I went after the paladin. Alright, you gonna move or you good there? Uh, no, I'm gonna go ahead and stay. Nothing okay. could get advantage on me, so... Unless they bust through the wall like the Kool-Aid man, and then <laughs> I'd be screwed, oh, yeah. so... Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this giant rat is going to attack Shroud with a bite. Wow, that rat is actually pretty insane. Take three more damage. I've done a total of, like, holy crap, how much have I done? I've done this a lot of damage to this thing. This going to attack Keldorn. They're having a little duel right there. Keldorn. 17 versus your AC, which I believe is a hit for 8 damage, Keldorn. Okay. And Alethandra, your turn. Okay. Uh, I want to uh, cast a healing word on Shroud, so should I roll 6, right? Mm. Yep. He has to spend a healing surge plus 1d6 plus 4. So. Okay. Shroud, you can spend a healing surge. And you exactly, get David. Surge plus five for your healing value. Do it can to me one more it. time. So, <laughs> I'll take uh, the eight damage off you, Kildor. Okay, thanks. And also, so, uh, so Shroud, your healing that healing surge value is, I believe, it's like a five or something. So it's five, so you get ten hit points back, and I think that'll just fully heal you. 
Yeah. And also I have a uh, standard addiction, right? Yep, you have a standard to move still. Okay. I want to I, I want to cast the priest shield over the uh, this one. Over the rat that's bloody there. Yep, yep. So one of my and I can gain a plus one AC. I'm gonna that go is, ahead and I'm gonna bust you out a. Mail, you have to move into melee if you want. I'm gonna to bust out, out my daily skill next and round, that's fine. and I've saved Elven accuracy, which that is, is a, an encounter. And he takes four damage, and you so and one adjacent ally get a plus one to AC until the end of your next turn. So you want to give standard that action to and a free action. Balazar or Paleus. So I'm in. A, okay, I I'm in good shape. I uh, might be able to take this guy out the next road? round. Who the other one? Well, you can't move. Uh, yet, it's but, uh, you pasta. Get, you get to pick to either give a plus one AC to Balasar or. Pay it is not going to be next Friday, but the Friday after uh, that, because uh, uh, I'm anyway. still in the process of building okay. the actual so campaign. Paleo, Balazar, it's going to be inner sea setting, beginner end, box set Balazar rules, and core rulebook one, so and core rulebook one only. Feats and classes and spells. Um, you run up, Nothing you smash else. The rat man with your mace. He is definitely but we're not around. using the full He's Pathfinder rules. We're not doing any of that Keldorn, combat turn. maneuver bullshit or nothing like that. No Pathfinder oh, Society. Ridiculous oh. stuff. It's going to be basic beginner if you box. If cleave set. that one, you won't be able to cleave into the giant rat. Just to you let you guys that. know. So if you're looking for Pathfinder Society, this this is not the game for you. If you're looking for uh, five rule books of classes and spells, this is not the game for you. Because it's core rule book one. Feet, spells, classes. That's it. No exceptions. No gunslingers. No summoners. No ninjas. Nothing. Get him, Zumper. Get her done. In a uh, series of Quick swings that people are baffled. You can swing this 15 foot or 15 pound two handed hammer so quickly. You smash this red into paste. First book. And in fact, uh, I think there's what 10, 10 classes in first book. So. Are you gonna move or are you good there? Next bony. Just turn around. I wait for my turn to smash his ass with Thumper. <laughs> Paleus, your turn. Okay, I'm going to use the... So uh, basically the classes are Barbarian, um, Bard, Cleric, Druid, Fighter, Monk, Paladin, Ranger, Rogue, the Sorcerer, the Wizard. That's it. On the bloody okay. rat next to me. No Alchemist. Hell no on the Alchemist. Sorry. Hell no on the Gunslinger. Yeah, Hell no on... Summoner. No way, man. Sorry. Trying to move, or are you good? <laughs> I'm not move being mean, but this, corner. this is my first time doing Pathfinder, so I'm not. Five feet, I'm not, not going full blast. Again. Eighteen rule books worth of stuff. Um, so. Anime freak, okay. I got your message, and I will reply to you tonight at some do. point to let you know. Thank you, sir, for the uh, email. You can do 26 against your AC. Do it to hit. me you one eight, eight more damage, but you don't time. Get the additional sneak attack damage because he doesn't have combat advantage against you. So you take 8 damage. He stabs you as you go run by him. You know how to modify the health on your token? Inner sea setting. I'm actually kind of a. Uh, Hello. I'm actually yeah, okay. kind of pumped All up, right. guys. The last bone rat Playing a little bit of a. Is going to. No, not for this pasta. This is a, this is permanent slots. Oh, this is not a one attack. shot. This nah, is a actually, campaign. If you had him marked, you'd be able to. But that's not your mark. It's on him. He was within five feet, and he moved more than one. Uh, no, he only, <laughs> one wall. He, only, he only moved five feet from you. Okay, anime freak, that's cool, yeah. man. It's just fighters have a special thing that if something they have marked even shifts, you get to an opportunity to attack them. All right, it's no that problem. Rat is going to attack Balasar. 
That is a miss. Please don't hit my face. Oh, not the face. Okay. The giant rat is going to attack Keldorn. Every Friday, Pasta. And I need people that and are going to show up he's a minion, so he's and not three. bullshit me and say, yeah, I'm going to play, <laughs> and then not show up. I, I, I do not... I will and replace Shroud, people. Is your turn, and you are flanking that bone rat so with Balasar. It's right not now, fair to the other back. players in your group no, when people right. don't show and let you know that, you know, you, you don't let anybody know you're not going to be there. All right, so we're going to sneak attack at Puppy. So... Okay, I will. A power on it? I will invite everybody that is yeah, interested that into Team Speak, so and I will talk to you one on one, and just me and you, of what I expect. This is a cooperative game, good so versus evil. Not, not playing a rogue, going into every shop so and stealing every, or, every yes, single yep, thing on the shelf. Uh, not going to happen because I will kill you off and replace you. Tiamat will come down and just destroy you. All five heads. Is a one round. 17 versus AC, which is a hit. So it takes 16 damage with the sneak attack on there. Good one. And that's one of those powers that when you use that, you can actually shift two squares before making the attack roll. So... Basically, you can shift all over the place before you're making the attack roll, and they don't get attack, opportunity attacks against you. So it allows you to uh, sneak attack a lot easier, because it allows you to flank faster. Okay. I'll try to keep that in mind. Are you going to move, or are you good right there? I'm good right here for right now. Okay. Balazar, your turn. Alright, so... The bloody pony rat. Yes, you have to have a mic. Strike. You have yeah. to have team speak. Okay, you you have to have roll to 20. Hit, so whatever you roll plus 2 is what we'll be against. So yes, well, you need a mic. Still then. You need push to talk. And that is a hit, and he takes 11 damage, and you get 2 temporary hit points. Ha! Do it to me one Slash more the rat time. The screeches, but it's still alive. Ah, by already. In the power of your faith, uh, spurs you on to continue doing moments of greatness. Are you going to move or are you good right there? No, actually what I'm doing, no. Pasta, is I'm going to fly everyone to Florida Pasta, once a week uh, and we will play around the table and then I will fly you back home. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Ratman is going to shift anywhere to get up. That's awesome. Advantage, you know. Ratman is going to attack Alethandra with a dagger. 19 versus your AC, which oh, I believe is a hit. Oh, that's a hit. Wah, 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 wah. So Alethandra, you take 8 damage. Oof. Thantrax, what's up? Exactly. Oh, and we're going to play with all nothing but dwarven hero the shit, token, too. Click on the green circle and just type minus eight and jdog 67 what's up buddy minus eight and then enter yeah i live in central florida all right i gotta i gotta do my attacks guys i can do it all right adrian your turn all right i'm going to use my minor action and i'm going to keep up my quarry on the rat, um, I'm going to burn a daily power hunter's bear trap, and I'm going to attack. And the uh, rat man. Guy? On the rat man, yes sir. Okay. Eighteen versus armor class, which is a hit. All right, uh, hit eight damage, and then uh, five ongoing until save ends. And then do your quarry damage. Yep. An additional five. Wow, so 13. Atta boy! Either way, the arrow uh, plants itself right in the rat man's temple and he falls over dead. <laughs> Wait, old days. Alright. Man, I hit him. He's a pincushion. Yeah, he's freaking full of arrows. And he had a magic missile blast in his face, too. Hmm. 
and a uh, mace hit from Alejandra. Okay, are you going to move or are you good right there? Uh, actually, uh, yes, I'm going to continue to stay there. Actually, I think I have the best strategical viewpoint here. Okay. That is affirmative. Okay, and this one rat is going to attack Shroud again with a bite. 17 versus AC, which is a hit, so Shroud, you take 3 damage. Alfandra, your turn. Okay, I want to cast uh, if I'm, I'm casting a Beacon of Hope over the uh, whole party, I guess. You'll get some points. <laughs> You'll get some points. Everybody within three squares of you. Which also, you guys everybody. need to check on the website. Uh, probably within the and next week. And it also week, hits all the monsters within uh, three I will have squares a, of you. And they are all. I will have a the end of vendor your next price list compiled next you of what you can do with your points. Your healing powers are plus like plus purchase special yeah. solo one shots for, that uh, I will cater points. for you, or you can spend points yeah, to. You get my three back. Uh, Purchase a so one shot for you and a friend, or a group yep. of friends. Uh, um, also, points to uh, put custom traps then that you create into the my games or encounters into my games. Uh, and then I'm also going to be raffling off uh, the main reason for the points right, so that uh, is are to give the viewers to the possibility to win all the prizes. I mean, because I. I've given away about 40 to 50 token packs. Well, probably 40 packs. And I've got token packs that have not been claimed, and they're probably by people that won, claimed them, and then they've never turned them in. Now you're up to 27. Uh, now so, you're down 11. Yeah. Also, I'm going to raffle off stuff. Like, I'll, I'll do some... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, my mom said that she would... Uh, I talked to my mother about this. She said, uh, yeah, I'll bake cookies, so I'll okay. I'll send cookies to, to... I'll raffle off a dozen cookies. Uh, I make an awesome cornbread with jalapeno chunks and cheddar chunks. I'll raffle off a pan of that and ship it to you. And you can on your turn. tell how, how good my cornbread is, because my cornbread kicks some okay, pretty good freaking ass. So, baby. I know it's nerdy, Where? it's dorky, but hey. Super. It's it's you fun. Want, if you want That's to what it's about. about. Leaving, you'll want to move up to there. I'd like to see actually what ac I'd actually like to see what kind of points okay, and a pan misses. of cornbread would go for. That would actually be pretty cool. Yeah, it still misses. You want to roll in eight versus AC? Dealer Umbra, thank you for the follow, Dealer Umbra. Welcome to the community and be I'm sure to uh, hang you out. And you know, you continue to, to gather to uh, things, XP points. Then you would have had to move up there. If you didn't care about doing that, then yeah, you can stay there. Jopper, <laughs> what's up, man? Long time no see. Yeah, I know. J Dog, like, what's up? When you cleave, when you attack something, and then it cleaves into an adjacent. Well, J Dog, you've already been so, here. So I mean, you could cleave that, but it wouldn't cleave into anything else. That was why I had moved you up there. But if you, you, you don't care don't about that, about you can stay there. Stay there. I'll stay where you put me there. Okay. So like this way. Like when you cleave that one. Now I, I won't be sending stuff to Canada or around the world, yeah. unfortunately. Okay. But you did still mark the one, even though you missed. So yeah, yeah you guys are going to be able to uh, get XP this way by sitting in a channel. You're going to be able to gain XP for right. lotteries like this. Let's go ahead and do a lottery, guys. Um, this is the last lottery of the of the evening. The uh, rats, correct? It won't hurt any of the party. It can it can hurt the party if they're in the area right. effect of it. Uh, type exclamation point buy okay. ticket to get into the lottery. This case, is the last one of the use, night, uh, guys. Uh, magic missile. Last one. On this uh, rat that's right in front of Shroud. Okay, the bone rat. So you're going to be able to yes. accumulate points okay. by sitting in a channel. You're going to be able to accumulate points by this, by doing lotteries. Yeah, and also, hit, if and you. And the missiles plow right into its face and kill it. Also, if you donate to the channel, you get five points for every dollar donated. And moving. as you guys know, all of the, the proceeds that get donated to the channel are you move or are you good gets right there? put back into the prizes that oh, you guys are going like to be bidding on for the <laughs> prices. <laughs> well, for the prizes and the raffles and stuff. Right. So, uh, But there you go, guys. The Mark Rat is going to attack Keldorn with a bite. Or a miss. Got all you got. Shroud, it is your turn. 
All right, let's take this little guy in front. Jopper, I just started the lottery, so the lottery is going to run for 30 minutes by default. So you are going to have plenty.